All right, folks, we got a weird one today. Let me introduce Blocks Breaker. This game is an original IP made by Adrenaline Amusements. The earliest footage looks to be the official trailer from November 7th, 2018. Looking at the game's art style, you can probably tell what the inspiration was. I'm not saying Minecraft has a monopoly on block-themed games, but come on, you know what they were doing with this. The premise of this game has you throwing physical balls at a screen to break the boxes inside the game. You'll need to do it quickly since the game has a timer counting down. It's a typical redemption-based arcade game where you win tickets while working towards an objective that awards you the jackpot, which can be set to a value within this range. There are two versions that I'm aware of. One has you collecting letters to spell the word bonus, which will award you the jackpot. The other version has you break a certain amount of boxes for the jackpot. I can only find the boxes version, so we will be talking about that one for this video. There's a hidden value that determines if it's ready to pay out, and the arcade can set it to something within this range. Blocks Breaker has the option of two players, but both players' crate counts will be independent when working towards the jackpot. Oh boy, let's go over some strategy. Simply put, just don't miss. Always prioritize the gift boxes since they blow up and hit nearby crates. Your next priority are these stopwatch boxes as they add a few seconds to your timer. When you throw your ball at the screen, you'll need to wait for the machine to sort the red and yellow balls accordingly before they dispense them back to you. This sorting wastes a lot of time, so try your best to whip the ball fast enough that it bounces back to you instead of being sorted. You gotta be fast to catch it after as well. The game screen is slightly tilted inwards to prevent this strategy, so you gotta throw it really hard. I would avoid playing the two-player mode with two different players. It might speed up the gameplay to more stages, but you'll be competing for crates, so it's still not great. Without any doubt, this has to be one of the worst redemption games I have ever played. The sorting system feels like it takes 50 years to return your balls, so every loss feels like you've been cheated. Sometimes I find the game isn't even recognizing my throws. The payout settings minimum is unforgivably low compared to other games, so it's no wonder I've only ever seen one jackpot for this game. That one jackpot? It was done by cheating. My buddy played one game and intentionally lost, but he saved every yellow ball. For his second game, he played with the red balls, but also used those extra yellow balls whenever his red balls were being sorted. It's inefficient with credits, but is a safer way to get the jackpot. This game is hard enough as it is. A game where you throw balls will typically be harder than a button pressing or joystick controlled game. But when you gotta cheat to have a fair chance, it's not looking too good. Is it D tier? I want to put it there, but I believe it belongs in the bottom of C tier. On the border with D. It's close. As much as I despise this game, I have to be objective and recognize that it is doable, but requires a lot of effort to get past the cheating gimmicks.